Hi, welcome to Collage, an easy step-by-step -step process by Doris Charret. This is our first project. What we're going to do in this series is learn all about collage. I have a degree in fine arts and I have a master's degree in visual art education. So I have lots of practice teaching art. I've taught art all over Alberta. I love teaching art and I love art and I want to share that love of art with you. Now, what I present is very simplified. So this covers just the basics of what you need to know to make it your own. It's very important to me that when you create a project with me, you also make your own version. So this is for beginners, yes, but it's also for beginners that like to try a project and then do something a little different with it. For example, here's two projects of the same topic and how look how different they are. But at the same time, they're made using the same steps that I point out in my course. You're going to learn a lot of things. You're going to learn how to use papers and how to adhere them to your canvas. You're going to learn all about the materials that you need for this. So not only do you need a variety of papers, you need gel for glue. You will learn to add paint to your collage because that's allowed. You're also going to learn to add different kinds of paint to your collage. You're going to learn how to spatter paint in the first one to create snow, for example. This is just a tiny list of all the things you're going to learn. You can create something different every single time you make this project. I'm really looking forward to you trying this out. This, again, is just for anyone that just loves art and loves collage and texture and color. Because collage is a lot about texture and bright colors. Now here's different variations of the same project. And here you can see the top one. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little snow. So first you cover up your area. Now this is just a sample of what we'll do. This is another project we're going to do. A guitarist. So this guitarist combines collage with watercolor. And this is so fun. It also has a little bit of oil pastel. So you can see there's a lot of variety of styles. I also show you how to add watercolor for modeling with collage. See how you add it on, it tints the collage and creates a different effect, more modeling, more uh, color, more depth. So again, here it goes. You add a line of watercolor and then you spread it out gently. Here's another project. We're going to do a wonderful landscape with fence posts. And here you combine acrylic paint, watercolor paint, collage, all of the above. That is so fun. Here's another project, an abstract flower or semi-abstract because you can still tell it's a flower. And there's a wonderful array of papers you can use for this. I even use string. This is so fun and you can create your own version of it. This is one of my favorite projects simply because it's different every time you create it. You can just use different colored papers. It's just fun. So join me for collage and all the projects that we do in this series. It's so much fun and I look forward to seeing you there. My name is Doris Choret and I hope to see you in my series and I hope to see you in my series, Collage for Beginners. Come join my series. There's something in every project that you can learn. And see how easy collage is. It's so much fun. So look for my name, Doris Charret and Collage for Beginners. See you soon.